not the things of which you meddle as a son. Tell me, is this what you desire? The liar in deceit and sin? Make humble your heart, child, or I swear I'll tear it from you with my own hands. I fear there will be no place for men like him in the new world. Are you calling me a coward? Challenging my authority? Are you perhaps hoping to turn my own knights against me? Enough, my child. I asked you to retrieve the patient, not to kill him. You trust in words, drops of ink. Do you ever stop to think of who put them there? Or why? It is a difficult decision, one I cannot make alone. I must leave it in the hands of one wiser than I. It's all here. Swords, staves, axes, armor, bows. Our men will want for nothing. His impatience made him reckless. I tried to be the voice of reason. Your father was a good man. He understood honor, loyalty. Away with you, demon! Have some respect for death, my friend. I'll show you respect. Oh. It worked! It really worked! You flew, Ezio! You flew! The Prophet's arrival was for you. And unbeknownst to us, here you are. Perhaps all along, you were the one who saw me. The first strike is coming! Quickly! The city is at war! He knows you come for him. Emerging only in darkness to meet with the others. Gentlemen, tomorrow a new sun rises over Firenze. Grazie, Monsignor. But my brother, they're holding Ottaviano at the lighthouse. Come here. Oh, oh it's you. There's Lorenzo, his wife. I take this gift to mean the Pope consents. Bambini! But where are Bianca and Ottaviano? He had it coming. He was bought and paid for by the Borgia. A mistake I have no intention of making. There's Giuliano, Lorenzo's brother. Where is Francesco? Grazie, signore! Caterina! Caterina, sforza! I know you're in there! I have something! Get up, bonfires to see! Prayers to be said! Penance to be done! Welcome, my friends, to the grandest social event of the season! Of peace or at war, in times of prosperity or paucity, Venezia will always have carnival! Your day is done, Lorenzo! Your entire family dies! Indeed, or shall I slice your baby's necks ear to ear? But know this the Borgia position is weak. If you can defeat them, we can concentrate our forces on the French front. Don't forget, I wear the black shirt. Protect me and wait for pilot call to the Centurion to strike. Today, Cesare commands my men, but soon, I hope we will be free. You know that I really work for you, not the Pope. I will take that. And now, you are dismissed. <laughs> but why are such complicated numbers required? Perhaps to disguise a myriad of contradictions? You must question their logic. That we will. Addio, amico mio. Addio. Outside the kingdom of God is the realm of men. We worship there, Messiah. The Roma is not the same as it once was. Borgia money has become tame. Chiudi la bocca! Non speak ill of the Borgia! 
If I want to live, if I want to take, I take. If I want you to die, you die! People are lazy. They will believe what we tell them to believe. I'm a navigator in the Sultan's navy, currently on leave to study cartography. Apologies, Manuel. Some of these Ottoman prisoners are so fragile. Altair, this gift is invaluable. Grazie. Give me a moment. <clears throat> it is a good likeness, don't you think? I prefer the original. Because power begets peace, Fraka. It cannot happen in reverse. These people would drown without a firm hand to lift them up and keep them in line. People desire the truth, yes. But even when they have it, they refuse to look. How do we fight this kind of ignorance? The world is a tapestry of many colors and patterns. A just leader would celebrate this, not seek to unravel it. Stands before you, brothers. Father, Come George Washington is brave beyond measure. Loyal like a brother, peerless in character, and unshakable in his convictions. We will win their support if we feed them. However, all the food is controlled by John Fitzwilliams. Disperse, you damn rebels! Lay down your arms and disperse! Indeed. You and I cross the Charles River and rouse the boys. But if they mean to have a war, let it begin here! No good can come of this chaos! Return to your homes, and all will be forgiven! The Collectors grow bolder, and more forceful. Something we must address, Samuel. Then let us raise a banner. Something to let the people know that they are not alone. Lies, all of it, I'm afraid. Still, such words have carried us thus far. We must ensure our people have ample room to grow, and further prosper. Which means, we need more land! Mount the barricades! No! Ensure my men hold those positions. If the Red Devils break through, we're finished. No, damn you! Fire! Where did they come from? Send word that we are falling back! Everyone, to me! Now! Now! Oh, yes! Of course! Masters Lee and Kenway, uh, was it? We must now all hang together. Yes, we must indeed all hang together. Or most assuredly, we shall all hang separately. Hold the bay while I engage the main fleet. Should any British ships dare approach, destroy them. They must be kept from Yorktown. Why do you persist? You put us down, we rise again. You end one plot, we forge another. Look out! Uh, that was merely a test, a new pass. I'm an officer of the Patriots, in truth. Here are my papers. Rubbish! Kill him and bring his head to the commander. No! Do not kill him. Search him instead. Hendrik Vanderhall. Captain Kidd's quartermaster turned captain himself. Could you finally realize you're a shite sailor? No less than a dozen Shawnee hunters had us surrounded at the point of musket and arrow. My bush partner froze up stiff. That lying, cheating, no good son of a bitch. Ah, oh, that trial for traitors, I'm afraid. Lee and Haifu saw that. He's straight to the gallows for you. Quantum, I got it for me. We must stay the next offensive. Robert, I need you up in Christchurch. Like the sick, two lanterns, our enemy comes by sea. This must be some sort of plot to 
most poor. I am a patriot through and through, Connor. My actions at Saratoga speak to that, I'm sure. Fear not. That man's no stranger to sticky situations. We'll be fine. I'm sure. Achilles tells me you've uncovered a plot to murder the Commander-in-Chief. Small wonder Hutchinson went mad. This place feels mad. So be it. I offered you an olive branch, and you knocked it from my hand. This must be done properly, else we're no better than those we oppose. At least this will be ended soon. I tried, John. I know, my friend. I know. Fresca? Evening, gents. I made a promise to you, Silas. One I intend to keep. Get the captain! If this crew takes bribes, I'd wager he's no less corruptible. You will have me dance with all of you. I shall be exhausted. I am a man of science. My own southern expeditions required similar tools and manpower. The region is rich with relics, predating even the mine. Labor is in tight supply as it is, and I must remain in power as governor. The nobles of New Orleans shall perish by poison and the slave shall be avenged. My mentor's work will be complete. I have no love for assassins, but even less for liars. Captain, we've searched the hold. It's a middle intake, but the medicine we found bears a Charles Town stamp. Rogers can hold these British hounds at bay. For a time, but this will be your fate if you fail to cooperate. I met Mr. Thatcher a month or so ago, and he offered to take me under his yard arms, so to speak. Our oh, Captain Howell was killed today in a Portuguese ambush. It pains me to traffic someone of my own race for profit, Mr. Torres. But not a word of it to anyone. Or I'll unman you as well. Have no fear, soldier. This will be the end of them. Come on, it's time. Will you not think? I told him not to hire you. You traitor! I will not meet the same fate! Way anchor and let fall the choruses, lads! We're sailing for Jamaica! Lock him in the hole! Take everything that isn't nailed down! For I have dipped my hands in muddy waters! And withdrawing him! Fight is better to be a commander than a common man! He's shot on enough gunpowder to blow new governors off his rocks. Accept the king's protection forthwith, or we will raise this town to its foundation and stretch your bloody necks. Peace. Commodore Jim, we are messengers, not executioners. King, not our country. Science of navigation is expensive. All things require balance, Adewale. To achieve independence, the Mayon require stability, anonymity, and information. That has always been my role. I will personally find and kill every last one of you until I find my answer. Where is the hideout of the Maroons? Indeed. As we speak, our Royal Navy fleet is on its way to Louisburg. However, the French have drawn up a preemptive strike against it. Aye, sir. I shall return with answers. Got myself into a bit of a scrape. Sent three ship in our land to their watery grave. 
Be a good host for my sake. Go to the wine cellar and get something special for our guests. How free will you be when the French undermine these squabbling colonies? It is, sir. Uh, terribly dusty here. I'm sure Shay can recount his adventures to us over a pint. The French have installed a fort in our territory. They are likely preparing an assault. New York could burn. Will you join us, Master Cormac? I've got things well under control, thank you very much. <laughs> Show some courtesy. I must perfectly capture the death of such a hero to the people. Any secrets their lovers tell them are sent to Montdossier. Those secrets could help move the revolution in a more fruitful direction. If you could retrieve them, the people of France would learn the truth about David and his confabulations. <gasps> Conspiracy, intrigue, a rapidly thickening plot. Add some bestiality and a lecherous priest and I see you have the beginnings of a beautiful novel. I must speak with the Grand Master. If you have orders to remove us from this hall, you must also get authority to use force. For we shall yield to nothing but bayonets! I have carried on the work of my forebears. Filching from the wealthy to feed the impoverished. What the hell is going on out there? Citizens are restless. Keep an ear open, too. You might just come back and see. Track them down and take it. With the complete mechanism, we'll have access to the last of Flamel's laboratory. Say nothing to anyone. We are betrayed. Draw your swords, men. Defend the temple. Master the guard, lead the hunt for this assassin. Bring me his head. Gilbert risked his life to unmask the plotters and stop the escape attempt in its tracks. This crowd of weapons and respect to his He is a hero of the revolution. The vote is cast and counted, Grandmaster. And the king will die. It's not my usual taste. <laughs> but as a man of state, get used to dealing with rats. We must flee to the countryside. But I have foolishly left several celestial observations in the observatory itself. It would be ever so delightful if you could recover those. I was sent to his house to kill him, but the job was finished by the time I got there. With what Marat was publishing, it was either him or us. The three parts of the rubbing are scattered, awaiting the translators. I wanted to help on them. Bonjour, citizen. I exhorted the Sonculottes, and when they brought their cannon to bear on the convention, I cheered them on. Oh, you must be Charlotte's friend. I came here to recover my work from these scoundrels. Well, some damned fools mean to induce a man to flight using electricity alone. Yet I know their experiment will kill the subject dead. That stinking stupid pig of a police minister doesn't have the stinking stupid sense to do anything that might give even a grifter like me hope that someday this city might not be a shitty place to live. You certainly don't look like a blood crazed revolutionary. The hood is a bit sinister, though, if you don't mind my saying. No! Someone's killed Lapine! No! You ain't now! We must show them that we are not defeated. We are defeated. And spike those cannons. When I see smoke, I'll take that as the signal to attack. Long live the king! Jacobins, it is your turn to bleed. But you can retrieve my research on the history of political progress. My opponent seized it as soon as the warrant for my arrest went out. And you? Where did you acquire your exotic accent? Corsica. How delightfully provincial. Ah! Bonaparte sent you. We are to rescue his fiancée. Let us make haste. I am one of Europe's greatest swordsmen. Or swordswomen, for that matter. Consumed in flames of hunger and wrath. Thus came the age of true wisdom to a souls. I just wanted his death to send fear into the hearts of Marat's believers for as long as I could. I'm going to perform a speech later on, perhaps from Fedra. <laughs>
Can you imagine executing so many aristocrats by the sweat of my brow? I just hope this doesn't make killing people too easy. No punishment is too heinous for the great evil you have inflicted upon the temple. Break out. Christ, no. Let them do what they will with me. It's a matter of principle. When I escaped from the Bastille, I left behind the rope ladder I fashioned from twine and firewood. It's famous now. It wasn't me. Damn me up, wielding the knife. Please, have mercy. Je meurs innocent. Messieurs, je suis innocent de tout ce dont on m'accuse. Je souhaite que mon sang puisse cimenter le bonheur des Français. Although I am a Swiss citizen, I am sure you're familiar with the great service I have given to France. Did you? The scum auction. A father little game. To watch. I'd be lying if I said I was heartbroken. Jean-Paul drove my lover away. So overprotective. My brothers in the convention will speak out against you. Uh, find that difficult without their heads. Lord Guillaume de Roussel has generously agreed to our price of 40%. With this machine, built by Tobias Schmidt, I can cut off your head in the twinkling of an eye, and you never feel it. What's wrong? Many thanks. And now, my dear Jean, watch as I burn them to cinders. I have seen my enemies in a dream. Come with me and I will sense their presence. Pope Clement, hear me? Before this year is out, you will answer for your crimes before God Almighty. You think you protect me? Who will protect you? He was hardcore. A war hero that stood alone against entire battalions. Napoleon compared him to a Roman hero. You follow us shortly, Robber Spear. Your house shall be beaten down and served with salt. The Comte de Choisy is to be arrested today. He's an honorable man, certainly not deserving of the guilt. No time. I'll tell you all I know once we're away. And we must leave. For the guards return. Yet his natural skepticism and how shall I say agnostic attitudes have made him a target for the fanatics in Paris. My husband and I were about to conduct an experiment on a poisonous gas. But he went for a walk and hasn't returned. Sir, I understand Versailles is overrun with parasites. That's an outrageous accusation. Take that back. Make me. You men, get him out of here. He was so obsessed with the revolution, he spent all our money on it. I hardly got the attention I deserved. Well, what are you waiting for? Rescue me! Jean-Baptiste Rotondo escaped prison. He's right down there, escaping through the sewers. <laughs> Bring us more of this cake. Could you please go to my shop and make sure my assistants are safe? And please, please remove that horrid man. Call this the fallback option. Better to practice here in safety than pick a fight with ruffians in the streets. No? Touché. Mr. Raymond takes real murders and makes them so awfully exciting. The guilty always get caught. He was a brilliant heart specialist until he became obsessed with phrenology and mesmerism. It ruined his career. Every worthwhile endeavor is fraught with dangers, my dear friends. None more so than yours. I knew her as Polly, and that's what her friends called her. I need supplies, plenty of them, and medicine. Some of the less common ingredients are being stolen and sold at auction. Damn, Gladstone! Man, he will pay for this. You damn monster! Take your bow, knave. For you have managed what no Russian battery, what no Indian tiger could achieve. If the neighbors find out I'm a suspect in the river murders, they'll lynch me before I have a chance to prove my innocence. You're a shrewd negotiator. Well, it must be when one is so often underestimated. Are notoriously touchy about any violence to their person. Only you know who the Ripper is. 
that you can't tell a living soul because it would destroy you. The killer is selective and dispassionate and has left not a single trace of his passage. I've seen such a talent for assassination and avoiding detection only once before. I'd like to read you all another. Listen carefully and tell me what you think. You name it, you can get away with murder. I mean, literally. Yes, I can only think of beginnings. A better tomorrow. Forged with the blood of fisheries. Oh, thank goodness the inspector got my message. I think I can identify that madman, Jack the Ripper. But if someone wants to see it, do it that I'll never reach the station alive. I have told you before, sir, I had nothing to do with that anonymous article. Nothing, I say. That is a lie, sir. And you know it. Oh. <laughs> It certainly doesn't have the makings of a ripping good novel. If you can see to this, I give you my word that once I've battled my way back into Parliament, I shall see if something can't be done about your request. I'm prime What in the blazes is our carriage doing here? No, we can't, Ev. Not both. Not in one night. I won't take up more of your time. Uh, if you want to learn a thing or two about the finest transit systems in the world, you can find me at this address. One might surmise that the spirits that haunt us are simply our deepest fears, manifested as apparitions. This is where Jack ripped the life from Miss Chapman's breast, the second victim of his hideous crimes. Get that man to interrogation. Then I want him brought to the man. The founding members of the London General Omnibus Company. Good moral men. All of them. No, you must listen to me. Some people in this city are in dire need of your assistance. The poor is adept, as Mr. Adeline implies. I may call on you. The priests of Anubis will be conducting rites in the Great Temple. Look for their masks. You will have your vengeance soon. This is Cleopatra's time to officially become queen. I shall flee. My wife has booked us passage to Crete. It was always our plan to go there. This snake will never die. Strange. Now you want the same things that we want. Peace. Order. And yet, our ideas will survive. Praise to him who will deliver us all. Cleopatra offers gold to win my favor once I've won Rome. Is that what friendship means to your queen? I do not need rest. This civil war is no closer to ending. I need a fucking throne. My throne rots in the hands of my brother. How can I hope to rest those beasts? Father can command all he wants, but I am no warrior. Nefertiti. Was she a pharaoh? Or a god? Ties cast! <laughs> Come! Go to the battlefield! Red Jai! Come on the retreat! You are traitors to Cyrene and Rome! And for that, you will die! You are the famous Medjai. Thanos never ceases to speak of your exploits. Tutankhamun wanted to restore balance. He trusted it to the priests of Amun. Our brother! Bandits ripped him away from us as he walked in the market. They kept me tied up, fed me little but crusts of bread fit for beggars. But it went too far in Siba. I knew it then. But I just wanted peace for Egypt. In life, I was his most beloved consort. Parliament of clucking hands. Can you be your wolf? Do nothing until I get this. If you ally with my sister, I will kill every last Roman in Alexandria. The great god dies, and the Atem is taken up by his successor. 
Send me some soldiers with half a brain who will never find my diopter. Our emissaries have been captured at the southern garrison of Alexandria. Soldiers have reported a hostile environment. Do you know what you've done? Cesarian would have sat on the throne of Rome. Look. We found the great king. The stories are true. That is the spear of Leonidas. The hero is played. I can observe soldiers fighting, but does that bring me any closer to understanding war? Choose your question wisely, mortal, for you have but one. Speak, truth seeker. Oh, 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 oh don't mind her. My friends, it is an honor for me to introduce this event, one so close to my heart. The Pancration! We intend to use this young destruction to avoid the point being argued. Better wine could mean a more generous crown. Your deaths mean nothing! We do what we must to survive, and there's no shame in that. Tomorrow, the Order's tyrant dies, and Persia will be safe. Xerxes will unite us. He will bring order to chaos. I fought for the greater good. For our children, for their futures. When Leonidas died at the hot gates, we all came together against a common enemy. Athenians, Spartans, fighting side by side. He's a good king and a great father. Persia knows peace. She prospers. I guided Persia through a time of peace. But my brother went to the throne and plotted my death. When I eventually finish your statue, it will be a reminder to the village of your message. You insignificant peon. Tell me where he is or my era and burn this clinic to the ground with you in it. You're not from Athens, outsider. Here, we keep our enemies closest of all. What did I tell you? The people have given me their blessing. I use their power. Where I should be is in the Parthenon. My greatest legacy to Athens. I think the play will change their minds. Good art is risky, but my plan will work. Observation, experience, and experimentation are crucial for treatment. After my argument with Sophocles, I think I'd rather keep my head clear. There are many secrets in this world that are hidden behind myth. A soldier's life is all I've had the honor to know. I say we drench the gods with their blood! What say you, Spartans? <laughs> This raid will tear each other apart within the city before the Spartans can breach the walls. Bring glory to Sparta and redeem yourself in the eyes of the gods. We're not going to win a contest of strength against those brutes. We need to outthink them. From slave to genuine, bathing in the blood of this war while our leaders stuff their faces and preen. I came inland to meet an associate. You might have seen him. He enjoyed Spartan hospitality at the end of the rope. <laughs> First Spartan thing you've said all day. Let's see how she does against the reigning champion. Rejoice, for I, your humble god, shall introduce you to my brothers and sisters. The people have decided that Anaxagoras should be ostracized from Athens. That is why any words of mine that last beyond my final breath will be those that people choose to remember. Those words will be true wisdom and not an illusion. Hmm, typical. The only time he's quiet is when he's eating, that he can't find time to mention me. Don't tell the others, but I'm envious that you're a student of Socrates. I hope one day to be as well. I'm the greatest dramatist in the land, mentor to every penis, lover of Asclepius, father of theater, and so on and so on. I didn't plan to, not when I was chosen to be the Oracle of Apollo. Using the theorems as evidence, I intend to prove that the universe is divisible into infinitely smaller parts. Under my chart, my student sees victories as easily as Vyaganasus sees the bronze statue of Apollo. If anyone did, it was not. Her brothers were champions, as I am now. No one honors the Olympics like her. I just wanted to see my son compete. 
My family has a proud lineage of the Olympic Games. I write a hundred poems every night when I go to sleep, and I throw out a hundred every morning when I wake up. Please give Pericles my thanks and my farewell. And be careful. I still believe many in Athens are in danger. My husband does what he must for Mercia. How could he do otherwise, knowing that even his closest friends could betray him? I see East Anglia's future right here, right now, in all of you, Dane and Saxon alike. I can't speak for all Danes, but I am well, and itching for a hunt as you made plain in your message this morning. God will speak to me, I know it. He will show me my true path. It pleases me to see you, old friend. All are welcome here in Jorvik. This is a different sight. One resplendent in a manner unto itself. The Lord works through you, and he is merciful. We are deaf to offers of peace until Guriad is returned to us. My husband and I are as one in this Lord. We do not limp together, we fly. Slink around my walls like a thief in the night. Face me here now. Our men will gather at Flor near the mouth of the fjord northeast of here. I would leap at the chance to rule, but a man needs wealth to bring down a king. Dublin's trade has plenty to offer and plenty of stout fighters, Eivor included. And yet in spite of all this, your encroachment on my kingdom continues! Dear God, more death, more war, endless refugees. We must put aside our differences and come together as Christians if we wish to preserve an Ireland under God. Kill the heathens! Bring me Sigfred's head, and that one as well! It's not a role I begged for, but it's what Mercia needs just now. A man to fairly rule both Saxons and Danes. Oh, I am through with Ireland. My ankles ache for how I must dance around all of these kings. It offers nothing. Forgive my brother's bluntness. We will get to the root of this, I assure you. My order wishes to break these mind-forged manacles. I am the wolf in Lamb's wolf. I will let my enemies paint God's green earth red with infidel blood. While pious Charles prays only for peace. I see. And are you one of our Frisian allies from the barbaric fringes of the kingdom? The legend is that the stone will bring woe. But the song claims if Ireland came to peril, the storm would rain a storm of wonders. What say you, daughter? Do you think him a worthy suitor? He risked so much to declare his love. When I'm upset or uncertain, I come here to seek my father's spirit. A septic rot has overtaken this shire. A sickness for which there is only one cure. No, I won't go back to my father. Something is wrong with him. I salute you all. You waged a good war. Let us now wage a lasting peace. Your lady wife lies dying. Go to her. Your duty as a husband. Thank you for the flower. It is very beautiful. I sailed with the mighty Thorigest. I deserve my place in the Great Hall. So, Stern, what brings a Viking from Donegal here? Never doubt me, Raven Feeder. These Saxon king slaves did. You know my demands. Until my brother Gwiliad walks free, peace between us is impossible. That doesn't calm me. I wanted to rip the bastard's spine out myself. You want to calm me? Start talking. I will blood eagle the abbot with my own hand. I will blanket the north with the skulls of petty kings. God will be my judge, not you. You act the Christian king. But let pagans and bulls do your dirty work. Oh, how the young pigs would grunt if they knew how this old boy suffered. You will meet them, Ali. One day, they will come. Gaze upon my face, King of Grow Food, and meet the dragon that will devour you. My king should have control over his land. And I shall. If it takes a bloody war. And if you doubt my conviction, know that the Avon River near Uffentune runs red with the blood of your countrymen. Back to the camp! 
Round up the men. We're taking Tamworth tonight! And who better to lead us to glory than me? I was blotted before the age of ten, and I led the greatest army Norway has ever seen. Aftar's hammer protects this land. Tell my people that. King Aesir. A weed that grew from druid roots. If we allow it to thrive, how can we ever be certain this will not happen again? Oh, I have no intention of cowing to that milk sack. Now more than ever, I will take his throne and his head. I am the gate of Paris! If I say we burn this city to ashes and feed the crows with children, what say you? We will crush the heathens between the hammer of Charles and the anvil of Paris. Before my king and before God, it's time I send this Diable back to hell where it belongs! They did not even bury him, just left his body for the animals to take. I raised this mount for him.